Let me just confirm. Yes, all tasks on the checklist are complete. Traveler, Paimon, we are grateful for your assistance. Thank goodness you were able to come as soon as we contacted you. Who knows how we would have coped with all these commissions otherwise. days have been pretty busy, but it was all super easy stuff, like delivering and escorting goods. When we heard that you were short on people, we thought we were going to be in for another long and drawn-out adventure. Being the seasoned adventurers that you are, it's true that you are suited to work of a much higher caliber than your recent assignments. However, this situation is unavoidable in Mondstadt at this time of year. That's right. This is the ideal season for harvesting crops and fruits. And for the wine capital of Tavat, it's also the all-important winemaking season. Farmers are anxious to sell off their fresh produce, and all the major wine merchants are seeking to purchase top-quality ingredients to make new product. Ah, well no wonder we keep hearing people talking about wine these days. Huh? What do you mean? Seriously? Yes, I swear I'm not making this up. The acting Grandmaster wants everyone to gather at headquarters in the main hall. Hurry! We need to leave right now or we'll be late! Hey, w wait up! Uh, why do those two knights look so... flustered? Well, hello there. If it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. What a rare pleasure. Hi! All of a sudden. <laughs> Don't worry. This isn't one of those occasions where you need to come to everyone's rescue. All that's happened is that the Knights of Favonius have just received a letter from the Grand Master. Acting Grand Master Jean will be convening a meeting in the main hall shortly. <sighs> well, that's a relief. Wait, hold on a second. What did you say again? The Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius? That's... isn't that Varka? The leader of that legendary expedition? So, what did Varka say in the letter? How's the expedition going? When are they getting back? Oh, so interested in our Grand Master all of a sudden? Never knew you were such a gossip. It's only normal, isn't it? That you'd be curious too if there was someone you'd heard loads about but never met. Even Master Jean says he's a living legend. Oh, pretty hard not to get hyped up after hearing that. Besides, the expedition has been going on for ages, and we still never heard a single thing about what they're up to. <laughs> the acting Grandmaster is very gracious in her appraisal. Varka brought quite a bit of trouble to those around him on the road to becoming a legend. I'll have to tell you about it sometime. Anyway, since this has piqued your interest, why don't you join me at headquarters, and we'll see what the letter says. We do miss our honorary knight, after all. It's been quite a long time since your last visit. Sure, let's go and see what it's all about. Bye, Catherine! See you soon! All right, take care now. Hmm, it looks like just about everyone's here. 
hey there, cutie. Paimon, I didn't know you two would be coming. So you heard about the letter? Yep, we ran into Kaya near the Adventurer's Guild. Oh, wow. Paimon's never seen so many people in the main hall at once before. Oh, Paimon's getting kind of nervous now. <laughs> Don't get too carried away, all right? If I know the Grand Master, the fact that he has the time to be writing letters means it's probably nothing serious. It certainly won't be bad news. Kaya's exaggerating a little, but otherwise I agree. After all, Mika's not the kind of person who'd be able to keep it hidden if something were the matter. The truth would be written all over his face. Over there, look. The kid standing next to Jean in front of the staircase? He used to be a land surveyor in Eula's team. He's very talented in what he does, and a very reliable person. When the expedition team set out, the Grand Master appointed him to be the core member of the frontline team. He's the one that brought back the letter. Please, may I have your attention, everyone? Now that we're all here, let's begin reading out the letter from the Grand Master. <clears throat> Mika, please, go ahead. Y yes Master Jean. Uh, right. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. I am Mika, surveyor of the Reconnaissance Company. Uh, recently, I have been taking part in an assignment with the expedition team. I will now be reading Grandmaster Varka's letter aloud for you all. <clears throat> to the Knights of Favonius. Greetings, everyone. This is Varka. The first thing I want to say to you all is please put your minds at ease. The expedition is safe, and all of its members are accounted for. Oh, well, that's fantastic news. <sighs> My palms are sweating. <sighs> um, may I continue? Go ahead, Mika. All right. Now that your fears are allayed, I trust you'll be ready to listen to the rest of my letter. I'm writing to you from the northernmost reaches of Tevat by the light of a stove. The expedition forces are stationed here while we restock. I once told you that the purpose of this expedition was related to a dangerous secret from days long past. I am still unable to disclose more than this, but suffice to say that you needn't worry about how our mission is progressing. In the past couple of months, we received an unexpected visitor. The Fatui Harbinger known as the Captain. Uh, the Captain? I am fully aware of the Fatui's outrageous actions in Mondstadt in recent history. Nevertheless, the captain was not hostile towards us on this occasion. Open parenthesis. I rather suspect that's because this time, Snezhnaya and we are in the same boat. Close parenthesis. The man hides everything under the mask he wears, so no one can know his past or his origins. However, one thing is for sure. He is as hard as iron for having the courage to challenge gods as an ordinary mortal. I don't doubt that he could even take out a ruin guard by stabbing it in its big, glowing eye with one of Klee's crayons. Open parenthesis, don't get any ideas. Close parenthesis. Our scouts have confirmed that the captain received orders to head for Natlon three days ago. We'll be able to sleep much better now that we don't need to worry about him anymore. I will admit that some of his actions have helped us, but even then, he owed us at least that much. This year's Vinelaza Fest must be kicking off in Mondstadt any day now. What a great pity that this year, once again, 
we will be unable to spend the festival together. Everyone here is always thinking back fondly upon the fine wines of Mondstadt, as well as the happy times we have spent with each and every one of you. I hope that you and all the citizens of Mondstadt enjoy the festival to the fullest. Have a few drinks on our behalf. The Dawn Winery's limited edition Vine Lazerfest seasonal special will do nicely. May Lord Barbados bless Mondstadt, and may the wind carry our sentiments back to your side. Varka. P.S. If you're wondering who's tougher between me and the captain, well, I'm the Grand Master. There are ten captains in the Knights of Favonius, but only one Grand Master. Ah ha 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 ha. His left, not mine. The letter ends here. Thank you, everyone, for your attention. Thank you, Mika. Master Jean, um, I just noticed that there's something else written on the back of the last page. <clears throat> P.P.S. I ran out of paper, so I'll add this here. Lisa, the following is a message for you. Uh, oh, uh, this part seems to be from the Grand Master to Miss Lisa. Oh, for me? Uh, seeing that it's a special message, Lisa, we'll discuss this in private. Everyone, as the Grand Master mentioned in his letter, the Vinlesa Fest is in just a few days. And how fortunate we are at this time to receive word that all is well with the expedition. Though they are unable to return to Mondstadt and spend the festival with us, the Vinlesa Fest will nonetheless be a major event that all of Mondstadt is looking forward to. I hope that everyone will guard your stations and perform your duties, both for our far-flung colleagues involved in the expedition, and also for the hard-working people of Mondstadt. And of course, during your time off, I hope you will be able to rest, relax, and enjoy this long-awaited festival. That brings our meeting to a close. Dismissed. Did Paimon hear that right? They ran into the Fatui's captain? Hmm... Who knows what that was about, but it must have been important. But, uh, Fatui Shmatui, the real big deal here is the Vine Lisa Fest. Sounds like there'll be loads of free food and drink. Paima wants to hear more. Hey, cuties. How about we go and chat with Jean? You didn't get a chance to say a proper hello with so many people here. Uh, hi there. Um, you must be looking for Captain Kaya? Oh, uh, wait, but what? Oh, jeez, Captain Kaya, wh what should I say? <laughs> oh, Mika, how have you not changed one bit after being on the front line this long? You were just asking me about the Storm Terror incident, weren't you? Well... Allow me to introduce you to the legendary Honorary Knight. That's right! And also the legendary Paimon! Hi there! You guys are so strong! I'm... I'm in awe! Um... I have to go and report in with Captain Eula now. Please excuse me. Bad. Paimon was gonna ask him all about the expedition. That is a pity, it really is. But don't take it the wrong way. The way he sees it, every pair of eyes in Mondstadt is focused squarely on you. Give it some time, and this will all sort itself out. Next time you see him, I'm sure you'll get along just fine. In fact, let me share a little secret with you. Try talking to him about exploring the wild. You'll win his trust in no time.
Well, what do you think? Glad you tagged along this time? A little birdie told me that you'll be staying in Mondstadt for the Vinelesa Fest. Hope you enjoy yourselves. Ah, uh, Lisa. The Grandmaster's letter is just on the table. Traveler, Paimon, it's been a long time. Apologies, I didn't get the chance to talk with you during the meeting just now. If you don't have any plans in the immediate future, why not stay in Mondstadt for a while? We'll be celebrating the Vine Lesa Fest very soon. Don't be deceived. Jean may appear very composed, but she's been missing you both terribly recently. <sighs> Lisa... <laughs> I'll leave you to catch up. I'm going to read my letter. Yeah! Mondstadt's where our journey began, after all! We have a lot of fond memories here. Um... Master Jean, neither of us really knows anything about this Vine Lisa Fest. Could you tell us more about it? Yes, of course. The Vinelesa Fest is an ancient Mondstadt festival, just like Ludi Harpastum and Windbloom. In addition, it's the most important part of the fall. Each fall, the west wind blows in Mondstadt. Legend has it that the wonderful scent of Mondstadt's winemaking during the harvest season entices even the Animo Archon into attendance, being the great wine lover that he is. No matter where he is, he will transform into a soft breeze and return to his homeland. <sighs> yeah, that sounds like the Animal Archon, all right. For this reason, Mondstadters call the Western Wind the Returning Wind. The Vinelesa Fest originally began as a celebration to welcome Lord Barbados on his return. In the past, every household would brew fresh wine around this time of year and keep it sealed at least until wind-coming day during the following year's Vinelesa Fest. Uncasking the sealed wine is a symbolic way of inviting the Animo Archon to share a drink. Legend holds that if the Animo Archon is satisfied with the taste of the wine, he will summon a gentle breeze to richly bless the people. Knowing him, it was probably blessing them with more good wine the next year. That's a good question. Huh. But there's really no way of knowing. These are very old stories. Many of the details have been lost to time. Yep, that'll happen. Some stories change completely as they get passed down. Hence why these days, monsters will get into endless arguments over what kind of flower a wind bloom is. Hmm, all part of how cultural heritage is created. Indeed, but for the time being, at least, the tradition of paying tribute to the Animo Archon on Windcoming Day is still alive and well, and the Vinelesa Fest remains a time for Mondstatters to share the joy of the harvest with one another as they partake of fine wines. This is a time of the year when many Mondstatters living away from Mondstadt return to their hometown, for those unable to return, Vinelesa Fest is the period when they miss their family and friends most keenly. Oh, so that's why the Grandmaster wrote, May the wind carry our sentiments back to your side. For this year, we've joined forces with the Church of Favonius and the Adventurers Guild to host a celebration on the banks of Cider Lake, just outside of Springvale. There will also be a traditional wine market during the festival period. Wine market? Well, originally, it was simply a place where winemakers and farmers would come to trade in raw ingredients for winemaking. These days, it is a much grander affair. Not only will you find a range of choice wines, but seasonal fruit beverages and food items for everyone to enjoy too. A lot of people also sell secondhand goods and handicrafts at the market. The Knights of Favonius plan to use this as an opportunity to do some fundraising for needy children and elderly people in the city. Wow, sounds pretty cool! If you have the time, I encourage you to take a look around. I hope you'll find it a worthwhile experience. Um, now, Lisa, what was the Grandmaster's message to you about? I was just about to bring that up. The Grandmaster says he wants me to handle something for him. Something to do with Razor's past. Razor 
told us that he was raised by a pack of wolves in Wolvingham. He never knew his parents. In his own words, the wolf pack is his lupico, which means family. Yes, that was as much as I knew as well. But in his letter, the Grand Master says that in the cabinet above the third bookshelf, to the right of the grandfather clock in Jean's office, there's a wooden box containing some items that Razor's parents left for him. He says it's time to give the box to Razor. Does this mean the Grand Master knew Razor's parents? It would seem so. The Grand Master didn't simply run into Razor one day in Wolvendom and teach him how to use a sword. No. The connection between them goes back much further. Wow! Well, come on! Let's go find Razor! He'll be pretty excited to find out something about his true parents! Hmm... Oh, cutie. Nothing escapes your eyes, does it? For the child who never met their biological parents, this kind of conversation is always a difficult one. Even for the most well-adjusted. By contrast, Razor grew up in Wolvendom and has had very limited contact with human society. Who knows whether he's ready for this or not? I'm sure the Grand Master will have given due consideration to Razor's circumstances. Perhaps he felt that now would be the most appropriate time. Hmm, that's a good point. Okay, cuties, can I leave you to break the news to Razor? He thinks of me as his teacher, so he might not open up to me if he gets upset. But you are his trusted friends. I think it makes more sense for him to hear about this from you. Thank you, sweetie. Try to be as encouraging as you can. Someone his age needs all the love and support they can get. As his teacher, I have a duty to give him the best education and guidance that I can. I'll make sure I'm prepared by the time you get back. Go on now, cuties. I'll leave Razor in your hands. Is there something else you would like to discuss? It was good of Mika to bring the letter back all this way. Knowing that everyone is safe and sound is the best encouragement I could ask for. Still, I hadn't counted on the captain making an appearance. The Grand Master has a rather uh, unconventional way of describing things. But even then, I've never heard him give such high recognition to anyone before. If you ever encounter the captain on your own journey, be on your guard. He is not someone to be underestimated. Is there something else you would like to discuss? Mika tells me that rather than rejoining the expedition party, Grandmaster told him to return to his post in Eula's reconnaissance company after delivering the letter. Land surveyors are usually situated in the vanguard of an army on the move and are tasked with exploring previously uncharted territory. Huh, it looks like the expedition must have entered into a much less intense phase. Have you had the chance to speak with Mika yet? When he's with people he hasn't met before, he tenses up and stands bolt upright. <laughs> I really wish he had a little more self-confidence. Is there something else you would like to discuss? There is still some preparation to do, but don't worry, everything's on track. Actually, while we're on the topic, I have an assignment I'd like to give you. Enjoy the festival to the fullest. Any objections? Is there something else you would like to discuss? Goodbye. I wish you a very...